Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome back to another episode of the Schalke Career Mode. I thought I would have a look at the top sales, the top transfers of the window so far. Look at this. Lukaku has gone to Barcelona for 92.8 million euros. Then we've got Rodrigo going to Leicester for 92.7 million. Then we've got Lucas Hernandez going to nine, uh, going to 91, going to PSG for 91.3 million. There are some absolutely massive deals. Richarlison to United, Jesus to uh, Juventus, Gaia to Bayern, Alwar's gone to Sevilla. We know how good he is. Now, this was an interesting one. Emerson, the right back from Real Batiste. I was actually considering him. I thought he was going to be too expensive. Well, Turns out I was right. 69 <laughs> million to Leverkusen. So they've strengthened there. Some absolutely massive signings. Look at Leicester. What? They've signed two wingers. Oh my God. Unbelievable. But anyway, guys, in the last episode, you saw I made a few signings. Some very good signings. We have a new centre-back that I'm hoping is going to change my team. I've given him a new in-game face, the picture. And I've got a face mod for him as well. Of course, McKenney came back from his loan deal. I did see a comment. Someone said something like, you know, there's no way he's going to stay at Schalke. You should sell him. So I guess I could put it down to a vote in the Discord. Maybe I'll do that. So if you're watching this video, go ahead and join the Discord. It is discord.gg slash mgh. And I will do a vote. Should I sell McKenney or not? Similar to the vote we did last season with Kabak. I'm pretty sure most people will want me to keep him. He looks very, very good indeed. But in terms of other signings, of course, we have brought in a new winger. I am currently converting him to a right midfielder. That's his main position for me. And I think he's going to be superb for us. And who is my other signing? Valerie. That was the other one. So Valerie comes in as a backup to Agu. And when you compare them, it's pretty difficult, actually, because Valerie in general is the better player. He's the better option. But there's something about Agu. I love him. He's one of my first signings in the series, and I think I'm going to stick with him. So um, that's what we've done so far in this window. Are we going to do anything else? I don't know. At this point in time, I'm very happy with the squad. I'm just a little bit sad that, for example, Tior, a player that I've put so much time and effort into, is now on the bench. And it's the same with Bozdawan. He's been so good. But with McKenney coming in, I had to get him in the side. I don't know. I think Bozdawan, unfortunately, is going to have to be a bit more of an impact sub, at least at the start of this season, until he grows a little bit more. And I have a feeling he's going to be used as a cam a little bit more. Because I think, you know, if I'm going to make a change in a game, I'm much more likely to bring off Harrit than I am Serdar or McKenney. Now, talking of Serdar, we have some problems with contracts. One of my main players, my captain, has only 11 months left. So we're going to go ahead and fix up some of the contracts right now as we've got money. I do not want to spend my money and then get to the window in January and realise, oh my God, I'm losing a bunch of players. So let's go ahead and sort this one out now. I believe there's quite a few that are running down their contracts. We've got Bujalab as well, Kutachu, Mascarel and Sane. So yeah, we're going to have to do something here. And a few of these players, for example, Kutachu has a release clause that isn't that much. So it's time to fix these up. Serdar is on 27,000 per week. I'm going to try and get him on maybe 35, but I will go up to 75. That's 73, Matt. Come on. Go on. Oh, wow. He's accepted it. I'm really surprised he's accepted that straight away. 35k a week for an 81 year, uh, 81 year old. I, I can't, I can't, my brain doesn't work. I've only been up for about an hour, so forgive me. Bujalab, he's got a release clause as well, so let's try and get rid of that. He hasn't been, you know, a superb player for us, but I definitely want to keep him. Uh, let's see if I can get him on maybe seven and a half. I think that's probably about fair. We'll go up to 15. But he will take the 7.5, but he wants a release clause. Okay, well, I will go in and negotiate this one. I just don't want a release clause. Let me go ahead and mute the audio, of course. You know, I've been streaming a lot of career mode recently. We recently started one with Villarreal. I took Unai Emery's job. And I don't have to mute this cutscene because on, on Facebook gaming, it, it doesn't matter. Damn you, YouTube. Well, damn you, EA, for not fixing it. So we're going to go ahead and counter. Um, I'm happy to go on sporadic. That's not a problem. That's the wrong one to counter. It's the release clause I want to try and remove. Um, well, I'll get him on a five-year deal. It makes sense, doesn't it? We might as well. 
Oh, really? He only wants three? We'll go four then. That shouldn't be a problem. And then the release clause, we just want to disregard it. I don't think he cares. No. Okay. And then I'll give him the 7.5. I think I think that's fair. You know, that's a decent amount of money for a 22-year-old that isn't really in the team every single game. And he should accept that, no problem. There we go. So that's two contracts down. And they're both signed up for multiple years, which is exactly what we want. The main one was Serdar, so I'm very happy we managed to do that one. Now, this is an important one as well. Kutachu... He's good. He's nothing crazy. I have a feeling that maybe him and Hoppy will be at a similar level throughout this career mode, but I want to keep them both. He is also on under 10,000, so I think this one will be a bit more pricey. I'll go in with 15. We'll go up to 27 and a half, and he'll take the 15. Okay, maybe I could have gone a bit lower there, but that's okay. I'm happy to give him that. Why isn't it updating? Hello? Did it update? Hang on. Don't bug out on me, game. Don't you dare. I've just signed him on a new deal. It better have worked. Let me go all the way up to the top again. And it has worked. Okay, it just didn't refresh. So, Mascarell. He was captain when I took over. I gave the captaincy to Serdar. But Mascarell has actually been a pretty good player for us. He's 80 rated. He's worth a good amount of money. There's no way I'm going to let him go on a free. So, even if I plan on selling him in the future, it is worth signing him up now. He's on 27 and a half. I think I should probably give him the same as I gave Serdar, roughly. And he'll take it. A two-year extension, but he does want a crucial role. So that could make things a little bit tricky because I don't use him every game. And I think it's going to be the same with Sane. He's going to want a crucial role as well. He's on 32k. Um, I don't really want to give him too much more. I mean, I'll go to 35. Let's just give them the same contracts. And he will accept it with a two-year extension. And that is the contract situation finished. I'm not worried about any of the other players. I mean, Kabak is on 17,500. It won't be long before he's 81, 82 rated. And we will just simply have to give him a new contract. Going into the first game of this episode, we have Mites. It's only the second game of the season. Of course, we started off with a win, which was... Much better than last season. Can we make it two wins on the bounce? Let's find out. I totally forgot to show you the face mod for Gvardiol, but you will see it in the lineup here. Massive shout out to Wizard, who helped me with this face. He did a few of the other ones in season one as well. What a legend. Once we get through all of this cutscene stuff, is he there? Nope, he's not there. Oh yeah, there he is, number five. You can see him on the right. Here he is now on the ball. Going to play that on the left side here for Kalasinac. Now, I have changed my system with Schalke. I've gone with a much more possession-based game. I was using a bit more of a defensive system last season because I was worried about constantly conceding goals. Um, it didn't work, did it? It really didn't work. So I thought I have to go for it a little bit more in Season 2. So, you know, I've got my wingers pushing forward a lot more. And I think that's going to be a massive help. Kalasnatch getting forward a bit more is going to be great. Here is Wamangi Tuka trying to get in behind. I'm going to dink this one into the box. Wasn't bad. Leverkusen have taken the lead against Dortmund. Don't forget, Dortmund absolutely smashed it last season. They won the Cup and the Bundesliga, although I completely forgot to check the Champions League and the Europa League. I wonder how they got on in the Champions League. Imagine if they won that as well. That's going to be a yellow card and a goal. Never mind. Yeah, I think Dortmund will win the league again this season, but they're off to a bad start, as we are as well. I've just let him go through too easily, and we've conceded in the first half of this game. I just thought he was going to go the other way. Don't forget, Timo Horn was another signing. I completely forgot about that. He is in goal again today. 79 rated for 14.1 million. Absolute bargain. I need to remove the confetti again does my head in. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it just, it just shouldn't be there, okay? It's wrong. The pitch would look so much better without it. All right, here we go. Through ball. Right, surely this is an equaliser, right? Surely. Wamangi Tuka cannot be stopped. Finish it. Why are you going with your left foot? Why are you going with your left foot? Why would you do that? I tried to do a Thierry Henry-esque finish, you know, where he opens up his body and finesses it into the opposite corner of his right foot but no he didn't want to do that corner comes in McKenney's there but it's punched out by the keeper we've got it back here with Serdar let's see if we can get a, cr a cross in maybe oh CDK was there 
It is going to be another corner. Mainz have actually had a very good start to the game. It'd be great if we could maybe get an equaliser now. Out to Serdar again. Into Wamangituka. Got no real space. Here is Cordova. And I've just ran straight into trouble there. And the chance is gone just like that. Unless we can get it in the box again. Maybe this time. CDK's in. Finish it. Yes! De Ketelaer. First goal of the season, I want to say. I think it might be. I can't remember if he scored in the first game. I recorded that a few days ago. So forgive me. I'm still falling asleep here. Very, very good time to score as well. It hasn't been long since we conceded. Very, very easy pass through. Harrit gets another assist. It's why he's in the team at the moment. And we've got just under 10 minutes left until the break here. I really like running forward with Guardiol. Just pushing forward and then passing it. It seems to work quite well. He's, he's so quick. It's weird. He doesn't look quick, you know, because he is such a big guy. Cross going back post for CDK and that's going to be a corner. We've really turned this game around. We're looking good at the moment. Let's pass this one short. Cross it in. Go on. Yes! And it's Guardiol. His home debut for his new club. For the Royal Blues, he scores with his head. And there is the face mod. You can see it in action there. It does look really good. The hair is actually perfect. It's mad. GG, wizard. You are a wizard with mods. And that is the potential... Winning goal of this game, maybe it is 2-1 now, but I reckon we can score more. I think, though, we're going to go in at the break with this scoreline. There's just a few seconds to play, and there it is. We're in danger here. Oh, no. Oh, Agu. That is why you're still in the team, even with our new signing, Valerie, coming into the, into the squad. What a header that was. And now we can get on the break here with Wamangituka, who hasn't got enough to break through there let's see if we can find some space on the right side maybe here is Cordova onto that left foot pass it across in for Serdar I think he's offside it's not going to count is it oh man so close to being a third goal there very unlucky I will be making some changes very soon this will be our last attack with the current lineup CDK onto that left foot onto the wing go on back post Damn it. I'm going to make those changes now. I do think I'm going to need a third goal. I'm actually going to take McKenney off and bring in Bozdoan. Swap sides. Let's take off Wamangituka as well and bring on... Ah, I didn't think of that. I don't really have a left winger on the bench. I should have Matondo maybe. Um, okay, let's not take off Wamangituka. Let's take off Haritz and bring in Van Acker. And then swap him with Cordova, who can play at Cam absolutely fine. He's actually going to be really good there, I think. And then, do you know what? De Ketelaer, let's rest him. Let's bring on Kutachu. Let's give him another shout. It's been a while since I used him properly. I gave Hoppy a good chance. He wasn't able to score. Let's see if Kutachu can. That's not a good corner. And we've lost possession. Yes, Guardiol. Look at that, man. He didn't even get the ball. I'm pretty sure he just out-muscled him. And look at him go. He's so good. It's ridiculous. Van Acker inside to Kutachu. It was a bad pass, but we've still got it. Can we get Wamangituka in maybe? Here we go. On his left foot. No way. On his right. Oh, the, the defender got a touch on it. It's going to be another corner. How many corners have we had in this game? It's been crazy. I think this is maybe our sixth or seventh corner. Kabak is there and he couldn't win the header, really? He was right there. Oh, Gvardiol again. Holy crap, guys. We have signed an absolute boss. He's getting forward now as well. What's he doing? He's mad. Here's Van Acker. Go on. Go on. I'm trying to get the shot away on his strong foot. It's not working. I should have hit it with his right. Gvardiol, though. He's a madman, isn't he? He wins the header and then he just starts bombing forward. Honestly. Brilliant. I love him already. This should be it, though, guys. The referee will blow his whistle. Jeez, that was a dangerous pass. Blow the whistle now, ref. There we go. Guys, it's two wins from two. We are unbeaten in the Bundesliga. I have not been able to say that yet. That's for sure. Unbelievable. Two games, two wins, two very good performances. A little bit shaky in the first half when we conceded that goal. But realistically, we were always in control. And that man right there, Gvardiol, 100% my man of the match. 
So, who is up next then? Who is our next game against? It is Hanover. They've come up from the second division. That means we could potentially make this three wins in a row. We should be beating a newly promoted side, but you never know. You guys saw how inconsistent I was last season. Um, now, where was that news? I want to see that. Breaking news. There it is. I don't get this. Why is Sane snubbing extension? He didn't. He accepted it. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Sometimes these do not make, se make sense at all. But anyway, let's get into this next game against Hanover. And hopefully, we will get three wins in a row. We're going with the exact same lineup. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? It's working. Why would I change anything? The only consideration I had was to give Valerie a go. But Agu, again, was brilliant. And that's not a good start from Hanover. Just blasting it out. We'll take the possession for sure. So, yeah, I am expecting a win, guys. I've got to keep winning. You know, I can't have another season where I don't get that kind of top six, top eight finish that I, I absolutely need. Top eight wouldn't be good enough. It has to be a top six, really. I need Europa League minimum. The change in system seems to be working really well. I am using the wings a little bit more effectively, it feels like. Here's a ton of space for CDK. I'm just going to hit it. Go on. Oh, it could have been beautiful, you know. Not a bad attempt there from CDK, who's having... A pretty good start to the season. Turn and pass. Oh my god. That was beautiful. Here's Agu. Driving into the box. Trying to get the cross in. Didn't quite work out. Let's try again here. Cordova. Oh. Oh dear. That was not the pass I was looking for. And now it's time to meet Gvardiol. We'll take that. Oh no, I've missed the tackle. Get back, Kolasinac. Get back. Oh, this could be bad. He's going to cross it. Oh, there was a guy completely unmarked in the box there. Why wouldn't you cross that? He's completely ruined the chance. Oh, no. He's still going here. Wormangi took his turn. And he got a touch on it. Nice. Let's go. From defense to attack very, very quickly. Here goes Wormangi took her. Inside with the Berber spin. Try and have a shot. Oh, that's a foul. Ref. Where's the pen? Oh, God. And now we've got to run all the way back again. End-to-end -end stuff right now. Don't slide in, Matt. Whatever you do... Oh, I should have slid in. Just because. Oh, how have I done that? That is unreal. The timing. <laughs> I, I basically have this exact problem. I go up the other end and almost score. And then... Or almost get a pen, maybe. And then they go back down and do it all over again and score. Typical. It really is. Instant reply. Come on. Go on. Unlucky. Pass it in. And again. Oh, hello. Harrit's in. Chip it. Oh, he's still going here. No. This is messy so far. I don't seem to be doing enough when I get into the final third. And here we go again. This minor guy, minor, minor, however you say his name, he is tearing me apart down this side. Klasnach just can't cope with him. Oh, they're in again. Please get that. <laughs> Why punch it when you could have probably picked that one up you know you could have caught that easily not a good first half at all guys three wins from three I don't know this doesn't feel like a win to me at the moment we need to turn things around and fast see you later mate lovely from Wamangi Tuka here into the box go on no I was aiming for CDK didn't quite work but that's much much better that's promising oh what a ball McKenney oh that was so nice Here's Wamangi Tucker again. Through for CDK. Inside again. Finish it. Yes. That was beautiful. Lovely. Really well worked goal. And we've started this second half really, really well. That is exactly what we needed. Assist from CDK. But it was completely built up from that lovely reverse chip ball from McKenney. And then Wamangi Tucker slots it home. What? Kolasinac, come on, man. He's having a bad game right now. How's he not winning that? Gvardiol's just pushing him wide. He plays it backwards. And then Wamang Wamangi Tuka took it. <laughs> Sounded really funny, that. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, Horn, what a save. Amazing save. I've just made three changes, by the way. Let's see if they can make an impact. Cordova's in. I'm going to have to go on the inside, I think. Give that to CDK. Or not. Give it to Bozdwan, who's just come on. Can he finish it? Go on. Oh, 
what an impact that almost was from the young man. That was an incredible attempt. Okay, let's see if we can do something from the corner. We've been getting a lot of these recently. It's not a good delivery, but it's out here for Bozdoan. Into Mascarell, who's captain now. Came on for Serdar. Here's Gvardiol. Into CDK. Go out wide. Go on. In the box. Go on. Oh, Wamangi took her there with the acrobatic attempt. Unlucky. Nice. We've won that. Win it again. Nice. Over the top for Bozdoan. This could be huge. Come on. No. I've done too much. Tried too hard to get in behind there. We might still be able to get this. Oh, that's well played. Oh, that is well played. Hanover, are you sure they've just been promoted? They are playing so well in this game. They deserve to get something from this. I can't even be mad. They've honestly been brilliant. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. He's offside. He's offside. It's fine. He was about two feet offside there, right? That's unfortunately going to be it, I think. I don't know if we've got time to get forward one more time. Maybe. Let's see. Try and put this over the top straight away. Oh, is he going to keep that in? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Damn it. Guys, we could have won three from three and it's, yeah, fallen apart a little bit in this game. We were actually dominated at times by a newly promoted side. That doesn't feel very good. Really not good at all. That is it for the games before deadline day. We've got some emails here and it's nothing important. I just noticed, though, that Tior's got called up to the Finland national team. That's really cool. I don't know if there's many players that I know that play for Finland, but um, I'm going to definitely keep an eye out for Tio in real life now. I think apparently Liverpool were interested in him recently because they weren't going to get Kabak. So interesting one, really. But now we are into the final 10 hours of the window. Milinkovic Savic has gone to Bayern. Great. That's, yeah, lovely. OK, well, that makes things a little bit more tricky for us. Dortmund have strengthened as well. They've brought in Katarino, uh, Fekir and Angelino. Interesting. Okay, well, we've done our business. I don't know if I want to bring anyone else in. Torreira has gone to Leicester. What the hell? How are Leicester so rich? They must have sold a bunch of players. That is unbelievable. Vieira has gone to Leverkusen, another player brought into the Bundesliga to strengthen these teams that we're up against. Um, oh, wow. They sold Hernandez and Goretzka. Where did Goretzka go? He's one of the players that I probably would have been looking at for season three. Maybe. I don't know if that's even remotely possible. Okay. Five hours remaining. Are we going to be doing anything else in this window? I don't think so. I think I'm happy with the squad. The only issue I've got is with the bench at least. I don't have a left-sided player, so I might I might bring in Matondo onto the bench from now on. Bujalab, I'd rather be using Bozdoan at Cam, so it makes sense to bring Matondo onto the bench because Wamangi Tuka, when he gets tired, who, who do I bring on for him? You know, I like to have a left winger that's right-footed, so I guess we stick with Matondo. I'm actually going to change his training drill while I'm here before I forget I need to get Matondo's shooting up because it's quite poor. I think it's 60, which just isn't good enough. So let's go into the development plan here. I know he's on loan in real life at the moment. So um, I was considering it, but in the end, I'm not going to do that. Inverted wide midfielder is going to do his shot power, attack positioning, and his finishing. Or we can do long shots and attack positioning. I'm going to go with the... Inverted wide midfielder. That's going to improve his weak foot as well. We'll also get some more stamina, which is very important because he does come back, track back and help defend at times when playing on the wing. Um, I think that's it though, guys. I'm not going to I'm not going to bring in anyone else. I didn't want to overwhelm the team. We didn't need to bring in too many players. So I'm, I'm happy to just move through the final few hours here. We're not going to get any offers coming in as well. So no players will be leaving either. And that is officially the transfer window finished. Over 1 billion has been spent. And the biggest signing was Milinkovic Savic. There you go. Um, oh, crap. Oh, no. Harit, release clause has been paid. Now, of course, I could fix this. I could go and offer him a new contract. But 
I'm going to put it down to you guys again. There are going to be two votes in the Discord now, so make sure you get into the Discord and vote for what you want me to do, whether I sell McKenney or not, and whether I let Harrit go. Valencia have paid his release clause, which is only 22.8 million. It's not ideal, really, is it? So... Yeah, this is up to you guys. It's your decision. Let me know what you want me to do and I will see you in the next episode on Monday at 7pm.